Greetings, YouTube. Happy Saturday. You know, I was asked this question this week, and I said, hand over heart, just wait. We have seen the most days of consecutive offers I can ever remember in Marvel Contest of Champions. It is not a coincidence because Kabam knows that July 4th is coming, and they know that they are trying to discourage the super unhealthy habit of hoarding not only units, but maybe if you have Google Play or iTunes gift card credit. Maybe you just have disposable income that they want you to dispose their way. Uh, but I had somebody ask me in the past week, Prof, and this was in regards to Act 6, Chapter 2. Prof, I have a Captain America Infinity War that I really want to bring in to take the last 10% of the final champion boss down, but I would really like him to be at a higher SIG level than he is. What should I do? And I said to this person, I can guarantee you in the next week, we see some kind of six stone bundle package for money because Kabam is trying to do everything in their power to throw everything our way before July 4th. Well, I said this about two days ago. I thought it would happen in the next week, and I guess I was uh, actually behind schedule for Kabam's marketing team, which, as a reminder, I, I don't work for Kabam, thank God. I don't uh, know their marketing schedule. I don't know what's coming. It's literally just a guess. But that brings us to today's bundle because we'll get to the $50 bundle, but uh, for starters, the $30 bundle gives you 10 generic five-star uh, six stones, not six stone crystals, so they are guaranteed to use on that Captain America Infinity War or any other five star that you want to up some sigs. 20 of the one out of six uh, signature stone crystals where you can use them on any class. Then you've got some four stars, which I don't think most people are going to care about, and some gold. This is actually a very underwhelming bundle for $30. Given what we've seen before in the game, this, at this point in the game, should be at least $10 cheaper, and so I'm going to grade this a D plus because it is far below the average of what we used to see, which was at least 20 generic five-star signature stones or the equivalent of what you would get by naturally duplicating a five-star champion in a five-star basic or featured crystal. Now, because I know there are going to be some people who always are annoyed I don't talk about the worst of or the lesser of the six stone, let's just talk about this real quick. For 10 bucks, uh, those of you beginners that are really looking to up your three stars and four stars, you should get one of those max sig three star six stone bundles that gives you the chance to take a three star up to sig 99. And you should probably double the amount of four stars from five to 10. Unfortunately, you only get 33 star sigs and five four stars. I think this bundle at most should be $5 and they're double charging you. And we've seen so much better in terms of deals, especially with three star six stones than this deal. This deal gets a flat out F. Even for beginners, you are way overpaying for what we've seen in the past. But the real bundle discussion is going to be this $49.99 because this is all about the six star six stone bundle. This is the second time we have ever seen this in our life. Because here's the deal I truly believe Kabam is rolling out the red carpet to prepare us for the first time ever, probably for the 10,000 tier three unit deal we'll see on July 4th for a six star Awakening Gym Crystal. And I don't want the community to overvalue that item because it's the first time we've seen it because it still just awakens that six star and gives them one SIG, which is really nothing in the grand scheme of things. So I think because Kabam knows it's nothing, they're throwing us the second opportunity to get some generic six star SIG stones. And in this case, we have another five plus 10 class, which, you know, it'd be nice to see 20, but 10, I guess, is better than nothing. And then you get 30 of the generics and then 50 of the one out of six class. I don't say this often, but given the rarity of six star six stones and the amount of not only generics that they're giving you, but also the five star six stone crystals, 
I actually think the price point on this is actually fair. It's not amazing, but it's not terrible. It's far more fair than the two right side bundles that we've already discussed of the five star and four star variety. I will say that for 50 bucks, it'd be nice for them to also give a million gold. We have seen far better gold deals. So the gold seems to be a little bit on the chintzy side lately of deals. I do think that's intentional because Kabam knows that you're trying to rank up your new champs. Heck, maybe you want to use those 30 signature stones on your newly awakened and acquired Namor. Uh, so rank up materials are still as high in demand as they've ever been because of the Cavalier Crystal drop rates. And because of that, the focus for Kabam has been to try to make more money off of the whales in the game for rank ups than just throw in some five star or even six star crystal shards your way because they know that those have been depleted in value thanks to how accessible five and even six star champions are in basic cavalier and featured cavalier crystals. So I'm actually going to give the six star signature stone bundle a B to B plus value. I think obviously there's a gamble when it comes to the signature stone crystals of the six star and five stars, but you get enough generics, especially the five stars, to where it's a solid value. It's not amazing and it's not terrible. It's it's a B. Uh, maybe B plus if you have that certain five star, even six star that you really need to get up SIGs and you have the ability to have them awaken. But if you don't, I truly believe that this bundle is a preview that's paving the way for Kabam to give us our first six-star Awakening Gem opportunity. But that's going to be for people who are, at a minimum, uncollected, if not Cavalier, because that's the pattern that the marketing has been giving us in the past couple of weeks. So thanks for watching, YouTube. I'm uh, thankful I was able to record this video real quick on vacation. I'm going to go enjoy some time with my family. And I just want to say thank you for watching and supporting my YouTube channel, and especially my fun, random random live streams with my brother. We're going to try to uh, hook up another one to his kitchen tonight and see what happens. So